Hello everyone and welcome to some more F1 Sprint Low Madness. If you wonder where the Sprint Low's been for the past two weeks, I'll show you where. I'll do this, and this will happen. And I'll do this, and this will happen. So yeah, you can understand where they've been. Nobody's on. So I decided to do this, go to a custom race, and see who's on there. And... Unfortunately, not a lot. Which was a massive fail, really, because that's not going to work. Okay, so, I joined a lobby, and now we're sitting in the McLaren in Australia. And unfortunately, there's bugger all of us. Excellent. We have about three cars, and it's Aussie. Well, four cars, sorry. This is bound to be interesting. Because not many cars in a rather long track, which is going to be a five lap race, doesn't even work well. So, we've got a Marussia on pole, we've got us in second in the McLaren, we've got a Mercedes on third, and a Ferrari in fourth. Hmm, that seems about right for the grid order, apart from the fact that McLaren will be at the back, and a Mercedes will be at the front, and a Marussia wouldn't even be on the grid. Great <laughs> bus to the front, five lights! Lights out, away we go! Here, yeah, right off a good start, by the looks of it, nope, that Mercedes has just gone and absolutely blitzed us off around the outside, and we're going to look up the inside, and we're basically bounced off the Mercedes and the Mercedes and Ferrari have made contact and they've gone around by the looks of it, I think so, what they did. But I'm not exactly sure, but so now we're in second already out of the first corner, there's five laps, but it's definitely a long race at this rate. We've got a red ball in front of us, and I've just changed camera because I hate that pair of that TV cam with the McLaren because you can't see anything, really. And so it looks like the cars have recovered that spun out. The Marussia's absolutely gone. This absolutely Mercedes us. So hopefully this the race doesn't turn into the race that it, it, Australia actually was. Which it was quite boring. <laughs> and I think everybody knows that. So now coming through the bit of dust kicked up by the Marussia and he's made a mistake by the looks of it so this could be a chance for us to capitalize on. And hopefully we don't make a mistake otherwise we are totally screwed. So we're not far behind him now. We could be looking to pass him in the next corner, lap or so, and we've had to go by and we're, we're in the wall. We are in the wall. Why do we have to put it in the wall? Why? On the first bloody lap, we put it in the wall. Excellent. So now we're going to have to put it around for the next lap to get to back to the pits as soon as possible before we get past and we're already off on the track and we're in the gravel and the grass and dirt's getting kicked up and we've got absolutely no front steering as though so, uh, driving the bloody keys in again. <laughs> it's Alpo. Because more rear, went, more rear grip plus no front grip, not going to work. <laughs> as I found out. And the Mercedes is literally right on our tail now, and I've literally just cut that corner and got no pen, I've just used the grass skin and just about ended up in the barrier, so it's not looking pretty for us at this rate, and I'm not even going to try battle with this Mercedes because he's just going to have a crap ton more front grip, and I'm bouncing off the wall right now, I'm on the grass, I'm bouncing off the wall again, and he's just gone. I'll just let him go, and he's gone. He's going to be gone in a matter of seconds because, well, let's face it, no front wing equals no front grip, and you're not going to go anywhere. So, hopefully, this Ferrari does not catch us too quickly, otherwise, that would be rather embarrassing. And that. Uh, yeah, okay, I reckon that was deserved and that was going to happen no matter what. Oh, that's Ben Duck. Um, So, what are you trying to go up the inside for? So then you go around the outside. So I don't know what on earth this Ferrari is doing. He's bouncing and moving and scaring and I don't even know. And literally bouncing off him, almost getting caught on the side pipe. My driver's absolutely furious with him, telling him to piss off and go ahead. And I don't know what he's doing now, but he's basically almost blocking our entrance to the pit. So, 
Alright. Now we're in the pits. We have two more laps. By the time we come out of the pits. Yeah. This race is not going too well for us at the moment. So hopefully we can catch him in the next few laps. Yeah, that's not the coin left on. Well, pit stop anyway. So yeah, they're the track is clear. half. The, well, Marish is half the track ahead of us now. So this is well, that win is absolutely out of reach by about half a track length, and the chances of us catching up to the rest of the field are not very high. So. Hmm, I know. Why don't we go do something such as catch up on what Mountain knows? Okay, I don't think that was a good idea, as we already know what he was doing, and it was pretty normal by the looks of it. So, we're on the charge now, lap 4. I guess we have skipped ahead of that. Uh, so now, we've just got the corner back there, but oh well. And now we're pretty much just pushing on to try and catch up to the field, and... Luckily we didn't go one more lap around without our front wing, because by the looks of it, that Marosh is just coming on the main straight now, which would have screwed us over even more. And head getting lap being possible? Yeah, that's not, not on my watch anyway. So we're literally gonna push it. Time to rock and roll. So back from hyperspeed, we've not really made any ground up on the car ahead, and we keep cutting corners, and we're running out of fuel at this rate, so this is not looking pretty for us, or a very good race. But oh well. Anyway, continue to push on, so hopefully they, one of them has a penalty, because if they do, that'll help us a lot, otherwise it's not going to go well for us, and we're going to finish last. And as you can see, the Marussia's just finished the race, so yeah. I don't know if at this rate, at this point in time, being lap would have been a good idea, or being lap would have been a really stupid idea. But oh well. So, it looks like this race <laughs> turned out to be, and we're in the gravel and bouncing over all over the grass and the curbs and everything. So it looks like at this rate, this race turned into what uh, the actual Grand Prix turned into. Boring and a runaway. Well, actually, you could actually say it did. <laughs> Remake of the 2015 Rolex Australian Grand Prix. Coming to a theatre near <laughs> Just kidding. So, coming out of the final corner now, tyres are pretty hot, as you can see. We're starting to heat up. Now we're just going to slam it on the fourth, because why the hell not? And that's it. So, guys, to the video, I know it was not too fun, but next time will be better. I'm going to show you that. So, until next time, I'll see you later.